of 70s to Farmhouse. My name is Chelsea and this is our Gregory home, so welcome. Also, welcome to my kitchen floor. I am currently sitting on the floor and that is because I wanted to sit in front of the piece that we're going to be working on today. So this piece is a vintage Thomasville a buffet or a dresser. I think it's more of a buffet than it is a dresser, but it has some really cool shelves on it and some really cool drawers. And I wanted this piece for our kitchen so I could hold um, like my Christmas dishes and my Thanksgiving dishes and things like that that I'm not going to be using on a regular basis, but stuff I didn't really want to put in storage. Uh, just so I can have easy access to that. Okay, so this is the buffet that we just picked up for $69. It's a Thomasville. It's in pretty good condition. Other than there's some veneer peeling there. You can see someone tried to sand it down a little bit. Um, I'm going to be painting it though, so that doesn't really matter. But I probably want to fill those up with something. And then also we want to put some legs on it so that it stands up a little bit off the ground so it's just not flush. I think that'll make it look a little bit nicer. But yeah, it has drawers on either side. And then inside the cupboard here, there's also drawers. I think I might take these out though and just make this a full on cupboard in here and put a shelf maybe. That way I can store some taller items, things like that. So. Yeah, I just liked it. I like how it had like this um, kind of faux shiplap look to it. Probably take these off and replace them with something different. Yeah, so I think it's a good price and it's big enough for our space. We're going to eventually do floating shelves up here. So for now, what we're going to do is turn it on its back and then we are going to screw in the legs that we purchased. Um, so yeah, that'll be the first step. So these are the legs and the brackets that we got to go on to the um, buffet. These were from Home Depot. And what we're doing is just taking this piece and screwing it down into the bottom right here and then basically in every single corner. And then what we do is we just screw the leg down in there like that. And so when we're done, it will be sticking out like that. Okay, so the legs are on and we put it back where it goes. So you can see it just kind of raised it up a little bit. I just didn't want it completely sitting on the ground. So just those little teeny legs are sticking on the bottom, which is totally fine. I think it'll be okay. So the next step now, I am going to just fill in all of the little spots that they tried to sand and didn't do a very good job. So you can see the veneer is just kind of coming off a little bit. So I'm just going to patch up those areas, have to pull off some um, with some wood filler, and then I will sand it down a little bit and get it ready for paint. The wood filler I'm gonna be using in this is this Minwax color changing wood filler, and it goes on pink and then turns, you know, like the light uh, brown color when it's dry. I'm just going to use a little speckling knife um, to put that on so it goes on nice and smooth and then it'll be ready. everything sanded down and smooth. I'm going to be painting this with the Waverly chalk paint in the color white and the paintbrush I'm going to be using is also a Waverly paintbrush and this is my favorite paintbrush. It covers so good and it holds so much paint. I just love it. It's one of my favorites. I use it on every single project. I make sure to clean it out really good afterwards so I can reuse it. But so as you can see here I'm just adding one coat and I only did one coat. I didn't do two coats. Just make sure that your paint brush has a lot of paint on it so that way when you're going over it um, you get a nice good coverage. 
So you can see here, I did distress it a little bit and I'm gonna show you how I did that. On the doors here, I have not distressed those yet. So we're just gonna be taking a rag. This is just an old kitchen rag and I got it wet. It's damp, um, not dripping wet, you know, just wet enough. And what you're gonna do is basically just take that rag and start wiping off the paint. The paint is water soluble, so it comes off super easy. You will not be able to do this with like acrylic paint or oil-based paint. This is just water soluble paint, uh, which is like your milk paints and your chalk paints. So this is what the doors look like after I distress them a little bit using that uh, wet distress method. So now there's two different options you can do. You can just leave it as is and then use a clear wax. However, I'm going to be using the antiquing wax and I'm gonna show you how I do that. So I'm just gonna be using the littlest paintbrush there and the antique wax from Waverly. And you're just gonna dip your paintbrush in and you are going to paint on the wax. It's gonna look a little scary at first, but it's pretty cool. You just wipe it right off and it really gives it an antique look. So you can see here, I'm painting that on and then I'm just gonna be taking that same wet rag and I'm just going to slightly be rubbing that off a little bit, leaving it in the corners and in all the crevices of the buffet so it gives it a nice antique feel. Now, if you don't end up liking this, you can use a wet rag and wipe down as much as you want. However, I wanted mine to look pretty old, so I'm adding quite a bit of that wax. And same thing on the drawers. I'm first going in on the corners and adding everything in on the corners and then going through with my rag and wiping a little bit off. The top was a little tricky what I do is I usually just go on the edges on the corners and then just a little bit in the middle and you can see I'm just basically wiping all that off but also spreading it throughout the entire buffet so that the wax gets over the everything so you guys here is the finished buffet I think it turned out so good I mean it like exceeded my expectations <laughs> I mean I knew it was gonna look good but wow I think this looks awesome I could probably resell this thing for hundreds of dollars but I love it so much I'm gonna keep it and also I did create a video on how I made those floating shelves and so I'll link that above for you guys you guys well that does it for this very first episode of 70s the farmhouse i hope you enjoyed it and i hope maybe you learned something a little bit new on maybe refinishing a piece that you have sitting around that is total 70s that you just thought about donating or getting rid of but you guys a little bit of elbow grease and you can make something amazing all right well thank you so much for watching remember to hit that subscribe button because we're going to be doing tons and tons and tons of new episodes on this series Remember to always be creative, be unique, but most importantly, be yourself, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys!